we're doing with every artist is we ask a couple of Rockwood specific questions and then we have a couple specific ones for you. Okay. So we're starting with the Rockwood ones. And when I answered, should I be looking at you guys? Yeah, it doesn't matter. This there? is just whatever you want. Okay. Yeah. It's like chill. It's, yeah. We're, it's cool. <laughs> we don't get paid for this. We're fine. <laughs> Um, so you've been to Rockwood for a day before. Yeah. So your experience, how, how would you describe it in like one word or phrase? What is Rockwood like? How would you describe it to people? Exhilarating. If I can only use one word. That's a really that's a good, good one. one. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. No, no one's, one's used that, that one before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I came up with that. So what do you think makes this festival or like weekend as a whole so special? Well, for me, it's like sort of my favorite part of the conventions that we do expanded. Um, Cause I know when I started doing the Supernatural conventions, I was um, pleasantly surprised to find out how many musicians there are. And it's really cool to get to come here and basically just make music with some super, super talented people mm -hmm. with fans who love the music and also love the other stuff we do. Um, and just, it's so, it feels so relaxed and like it's a chance to try stuff that you've always wanted to try. Mm -hmm. um, and I appreciate that, that, uh, that, you know, the fans aren't looking for like completely perfect performances that they like being part of the process too. Mm -hmm. And speaking of like, performing and collaborating. Is there like a collab or a duet that you would like to try this year that you are looking forward to trying this year without revealing too much, obviously, mm. but. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone you haven't worked <laughs> with before, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, there's someone that I haven't gotten to sing with before and I, I pitched a song to him um, and we may do it. Yeah. I hope we do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And do you enjoy like more like the jam session where it's more spontaneous or do you enjoy being like prepared for the I concerts like and stuff? I mean, it's yeah. nice when you have a song that you're really confident about, but then it's so much fun to see what can come out in the jam sessions. Yeah. yeah. So I like both. I'm glad that we have both. Yeah. I feel like if it were all just like very polished concerts, like meh. So since the fan base mainly like consists of geeks and nerds. Mm -hmm. Is there anything of which geeky? I am one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything that you've picked up from the fan base that you've like become yeah. interested in? Become something? interested in because the fan base as a whole seems to be interested in it. Oh. Or is there something where you're like, I'm exactly this person for a different thing? Yeah. Um I well the thing that that is most fascinating to me and cool to me about the fan base is how friendships form like mm -hmm. across conventions and events and like it's still amazing to me to see people like in multiple countries yeah. <laughs> yeah. like fans that that uh get to travel because they happen to love um supernatural or they happen to love like some of these musicians um so that willingness to just like pick up and go to different countries is is cool to me um i don't really have something that i like I have lots of things that when I was a kid that I was really into, but I haven't really, I think partly because I'm an actor, I don't know. Yeah. I feel like I don't want to get too excited about anything because then if I have to audition for it, then I'll be. But like you're part of Star Wars. That's like yeah. a thing. Well, yeah, <laughs> like, I definitely like, I geeked out about that a lot. I would lot. have been dead, I would be like. Yeah. And when I first saw my, so my costume for that, I was, yeah. I, 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 and yeah, it's, uh, the coolest thing I think I've ever gotten to do. Yeah. And given how busy you are as an actress, obviously, is there any drive in you or will in you to pursue music as your like dominant thing or is it always a side thing for you doing music? Um, I would like to do more of it. Yeah. Um, you know, I used to do more of it with my acting because I used to do musical theater. Yeah. And I don't necessarily have the desire to, my husband is in a, a Broadway musical right now and that schedule, um, doesn't appeal to me, like to do the same the show, show week for thing. the yeah. show week. Yeah. And like, you know, I think it's fun because I did one Broadway musical and it's fun for like the first few weeks or the first few months and then yeah. I want a new experience. Yeah. Um, I would like to do more with my music. I don't know that it, I mean, I have seen with other things in my acting career that there's like seasons for different things. So there could be a season where it's the dominant thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I would like to do more with it and I feel like it, it sort of 
too easily takes a backseat to the acting stuff, so maybe I need to pay more attention to that. On the topic of musicals and, and things like that, is there a musical or a play or a musical performance that inspired you growing up? One of the first ones that I saw was uh, Into the Woods when a, a tour came to, to my hometown. And then since then, um, I auditioned for a production of it in high school and I did which I like to remind my high school drama teacher about. <laughs> like, it's a good thing because I want her to like tell her students, you know, yeah. like, so you don't get cast in your high school musical. It's okay, you can still be an actor. Um, but then I did a community theater production of it and then I got to do it in college and I got to play one of the lead roles. Mm -hmm. So it, it's sort of one that has always stuck with me and I still just like, it's one of those that just makes me forget all about the like analyzing that I can do as an actor and I just like go along for the ride of the story and I love it. Is there anything that's currently on Broadway where you're like, this is amazing, like musical wise? Because they're like come from away because my husband's in it. Cover is so it, we we saw it in March, see it? in March oh, yeah, in London. Yeah. It was really good. Yeah, yeah. I really want to see it's, Hades Town. Yeah, I want to see Hades Town. Like Hades Town for sure. And yeah. um, and Moulin Rouge. Yes, the Moulin, and the what? The Moulin Rouge, Moulin Rouge version. Rouge. Of, that looks oh, really fun too. Yeah, yeah. This, I've been looping like the Broadway's recording yeah. for a long time. Really There's a lot of good stuff right yeah. there. Yeah. The topic, still music, of course. Uh, do you have a favorite song to perform live? Mmm. <laughs> um, Creep was my favorite for a while. Yeah. Um, and I love doing Dearly Departed with Rob, mm -hmm. the Shaky Grave song. Um, I have to say, like, I didn't really recognize how much I could and how high. <laughs> I could felt like <laughs> singing more with Loud and Swain, and so that's been a delight to see like what songs they they bring to me. Yeah, they're like, we think you could kill this, and I'm like, I don't know. And then I get to be loud. Um, <laughs> so, and there's a new one that we're gonna do this time that I'm excited about for that. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's a song that Brianna and uh, Lisa and I might sing together. Yeah, they teased it. They together. didn't tell us which, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're all like, we really want to do it. Can we get our <laughs> harmonies together? We'll see. Probably a jam session song. It's so cool to have you here for the whole weekend. Yeah, we're yeah really it's forward really weird. to like mm -hmm. having you for all the things. Yeah, it's great. Mm -hmm.